We begin in the US. It's a case that has frustrated investigators and fascinated the public. Tupac Shakur, one of the most acclaimed rappers in hip-hop, was gunned down on the Las Vegas Strip 27 years ago. The identity of his killer has remained a mystery. It's been the epitome of a cold case, a long unsolved but still open criminal investigation. Until now, perhaps, because police have arrested a man over the drive-by murder of Tupac Shakur. Steve Wolfson is the Las Vegas Clark County District Attorney. It has often been said, justice delayed is justice denied. It's a quote we hear often and for many, many years when talking about our legal system, but not in this case. Today, justice will be served in the murder of Tupac Shakur. Our North America reporter Reagan Morris is in Los Angeles and told me the latest. They've arrested Dwayne Keefe D. Davis. He is an associate who knew Tupac. And he's a man that lives in the Las Vegas area. They raided his wife's home about two months ago. So that we, we sort of knew something was happening with the investigation. And that caught many by surprise. And in that raid, they took some cell phones, computer hard drives, a computer, and a copy of Keefe D's memoir. He had a 2019 memoir where he admitted to being in the Cadillac that the shots that were fired that ultimately did kill Tupac. And Reagan, remind us of the circumstances of Tupac Shakur's death. Yeah, it was 27 years ago, and they were, he was driving in a convoy of cars on the Sunset Strip, and they were at a red light, and a Cadillac pulled up, and someone in that Cadillac opened fire, and those were the shots that ultimately killed Tupac. He lived a few days later in hospital, but he, we, no one ever knew. There was so much mystery. Who did shoot him? And Keefe D has written in his memoir and has talked about that he was in that Cadillac. So it's been known. He's been known to investigators. And I suppose there's a lot of surprise for some people that it's taken so long to, to get anywhere with this case. Uh, what are the theories behind why that might, might be? Oh, there's so many conspiracy theories about East Coast, West Coast grudges between rappers. I was listening to an interview, an earlier interview with Tupac's brother after they had the... Uh, the police raid in Las Vegas a couple months ago of Keefe D's house. And, you know, he wasn't surprised at all. He's more surprised that they never took the investigation as seriously as he would have liked and found more evidence. And he thinks there's people out there that know what happened, but isn't necessarily surprised that they didn't. I think there's a lot of distrust in that family and within many in the black community over police. And who knows what happened with that investigation, but it seems like something is happening now and maybe we will find out finally who killed Tupac. Reagan Morris in L. Like and subscribe and join the family.